Okay, 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 okay. Now let's talk about Caitlin Clark, Kamala Harris, Taylor Swift. But before we get started, I want to thank y'all for tuning in to the Gertie Mac Show, taking y'all time to subscribe to my channel, liking and sharing my videos. I really appreciate all that. Now let's go. So the Indiana Fever had been piping hot, winning, hitting on all cylinders. But they just recently lost to the Las Vegas Aces. They got rolled up and twisted up like a pretzel. The score was 86 to 75. Some people say it's not a blowout, but in my opinion, it was because Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever play horrible. Now, some people are really blaming Chris's size because they feel like she still hasn't figured out how to get over the hump when they play good teams. But unfortunately, this right here did not just end up being about WNBA basketball after this game. Why? Because Caitlin Clark, the number one person that has the spotlight and the crowd attention for the team, has the crowd attention for a whole separate reason that don't have nothing to do with basketball. Caitlin Clark, you know, she is the type of person she you can tell that she is honest about who she is and she supports what she supports. But this right here shows how quickly people can turn on you when you do something that they don't like. So recently, Donald Trump and Kamala Harris, Vice President Kamala Harris, had their presidential debate, you know, to do what they need to do to try to win the people over for the upcoming presidential election. And Taylor Swift, none other than a pop superstar, she weighed in on this and she actually endorsed Kamala Harris. But the whole problem is if you're wondering what they got to do with Caitlin Clark. Well, Caitlin Clark liked the post with Taylor Swift endorsing Kamala Harris and people are very upset at Caitlin Clark for doing that. Not all, but there's a lot of people upset. This is the post right here. This Taylor Swift, you can see like by, and Caitlin Clark, 22, liked this post. Now, the post went on to say this. Like many of you, I watched the debate tonight. If you haven't already, now is a great time to do your research on the issues at hand and the stances these candidates take on the topics that matter to you the most. As a voter... I make sure to watch and read everything I can about their pro proposed policies and plans for this country. Here's what people is upset about. Taylor Swift went on to say this. I will be casting my vote for Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz in the 2024 presidential election. I'm voting for at Kamala Harris because she's fight for rights and causes I believe need a warrior to champion them. I think she is a steady hand, gifted leader, and I believe we can accomplish so much more in this country if we are led by calm and not chaos. I was so hardened and impressed by her selection of running mate at Tim Walls, who has been standing up for LGBTQ plus rights, IVF, and women's rights, to her own body for decades. Now she said a lot more. Of why she is. Endorsing Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz. But like I said. Let's go back to the post. People. Are upset. Because. Caitlin Clark. Publicly. Like this post. Which I guess you can say. Allegedly she is. Endorsing Kamala Harris herself. Maybe. She hasn't said it, but like in this post, people are tying her into it and saying that she needs to step away from these type of issues and she don't need to make this known. In the comment section, I want to say this is under this Caitlin Clark page because people are going to Caitlin Clark page and now leaving comments up on her page. I'm not going to read all of them, but here's the fruit. Someone said you gain a new follower in America. Women are allowed to have political views. You did nothing wrong. Continued success. 
And someone said, already turning on Caitlyn for simply liking a post. You were never fans to begin with. Go touch grass. Because people are really upset that Caitlyn Clark has publicly, openly liked this post by Taylor Swift endorsing Kamala Harris. And people are really talking about not supporting Indiana Fever in Caitlyn Clark anymore. Because of that. All because they feel like she's endorsing Kamala Harris and not Donald Trump. And for that reason alone, people are thinking about pulling their support away from Caitlin Clark in and the fever if this is what she's going to support. Now, to each his own, she's entitled to support who she wants to support. But we live in a world where if people don't feel like you're picking the same side they're picking or they're choosing, well then... They will end up not supporting you because of that, especially when it comes to this presidential stuff. Y'all know how serious this is. Um, like I said, Caitlin Clark hasn't openly talked verbally about this. She hasn't said, you know, uh, she hasn't said anything about what's going on with her liking the Taylor Swift post. Will she after the season or whatever? Who knows? But even her boyfriend before had um, shared a post of Kamala Harris and, you know, supporting something that she had put out for her campaign. So, I mean, they are entitled to support who they want to support, no matter what race they are, white or black. She should be entitled to support Kamala Harris if she chooses to. If that's her prerogative, then she should be able to do what she want to do. People should not be mad at her. And ready to stop supporting Indiana Fever and Caitlin Clark. All because they feel like she is supporting Kamala Harris. Because if that's the case then. What do that say about you? Not Caitlin Clark. What do that say about you if you're upset. With a young woman. Who has a mind of her own. But because you as a fan. Don't feel like she made the decision. Or like the post in support of what you choose. Or what you like. You now don't want to support her no more or the team? This is very sad. But y'all get in the comments tell what y'all think. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like and share this video. Also hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop another video. And follow my social media at GertieMac15. Holla.